Everything will be okay. Get out. Females first. Get out. 
Move it. Officer Lucas Williams, ID code 466678. I have seven prisoners for processing. Everybody, inside. I think you're gonna back down to that. I got a hundred credits. This is every single one of them. <sighs> That's a bet. <laughs> hey, look at me. Be strong, okay? What's gonna happen to us? I don't know. But whatever happens, we cannot let them break us, okay? Okay? Okay. This way! Move it! Move it! Come on! been charged with treason against Lord Aldo De Luca, leader of the New World Order, and thereby have been sentenced to death.
is set to meet with the president and members of Congress today to discuss the alarming crisis in regards to the Iranian government nuclear program yeah, what else and their persistent. <sighs> Hello? Oh, hey, honey, what's up? Um, I was just doing some reading in the park. Book of Revelations. <laughs> yeah, that scary book. No, you know what? I don't think we have anything to worry about right now. No, it's not time yet. I mean, it's just... <gasps> oh, my God! I'm gonna have to call you back. I totally just hit somebody. Seriously, lady? No, I'm not joking. Oh, my God. How did you not see me walking? I don't know. I just... I... Are, are you okay? <gasps> are you okay? I mean, it hurts a little. Okay, so, um, don't move. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't move. You should call an ambulance, sir. Okay, I'm gonna call you one right now. I am so sorry, sir. Hold on one second. Oh. Seriously, I'm okay. Uh, I'm Jason. Dummy. Of course you are. <laughs> oh, Tell me, Demi. You make it a habit of talking on the phone and backing up and hitting people or? Uh, no, I'm usually way more careful. I'm so sorry. I'll tell you what. Instead of making a big fuss over this, I'll let you make it up to me. How? You can go out with me this weekend. Wow. Um, do I have a choice? You know, this is a really weird way to meet somebody. <laughs> well, maybe it's fate. So you're one of those people. So, what do you say? No. No, I'm totally just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I would love to go out with you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, then it's a date. It's a date. In the name of Lord DeLuca, I offer you clemency. One final opportunity to join our order. Lord DeLuca, our merciful leader, is prepared to pardon each of you of the charges set against you, if you would but only pledge yourselves and become true citizens of the new world government and bear its mark. I will take to mark. Very well. Today, you shall be returned back to society. For it is the will of our Lord DeLuca that all should live in peace. Why should any of you suffer? Release him immediately. Maybe we should take the mark. What? Kristen, if we die today, we live. If we take that mark, we lose everything. Even our souls. We can't. I want to talk to you today about the return of Jesus Christ. The Apostle John lets us know in John chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him, and without Is that him, he's hot? Him, that's Jason, that's the, that's, that's, that's the guy I hit with my car. <laughs> oh, he just texted me. He must have been go out tonight. It's Sunday. So? All right, do whatever you want. I am, don't you worry about it. Christ paid was not in vain, neither his death. For there can be no doubt oh, that the He wants to know if I can bring a friend. I don't know. Come on, just go. Jesus Come on, Christ just go. Okay, okay. And when he returns, he will take possession of the earth where his I can't believe you're making me do this. Why? I'm so happy you're coming. <sighs> God bless you. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come here. Will return one day. 
So I ask you today, what is your stand with Jesus Christ? So, who's this Jason guy? What does he do? Uh, he's a student. Demi? Yes? There's something you're not telling me. I know you. Okay, um... He's a dancer. A dancer? Mm -hmm. Like an exotic dancer? Are you serious? Look, he's just trying to pay his way through school, okay? He's like me. He wants to be a dentist. <laughs> yeah, okay. Demi, your parents are going to throw a fit when they find out. And who says they have to know? I don't know what to do with you. Oh, come on, little Miss Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You got arrested for dancing. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Boise jail is not as <laughs> fun as you think it would be. Uh, oh. Oh, nice work, buddy. Hey. Oh, ladies. Hey. This is my buddy Cedric. Cedric, this is Kristen. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Oh, well, why don't I get one of those? I've never seen one. Different shoes, drugs for different games. You guys come here a lot? Oh, no, actually, uh, this is my first time. But Demi comes here all the time. It's a good spot. We try to get over here a couple times a week or so. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a lot. Took you guys a while to get here? Yeah, a little lost. A little lost? A little bit. Run into a few more people? or. <laughs> Just an old lady, school full of children. Hello, America. Okay, you run over me, well, then an uh, old lady, school, I dad dance with them too later. Your source for reliable information. And now for today's breaking news. U.S. agents have disrupted an Iranian assassination for hire scheme targeting Saudi Arabia's ambassador to the United States. Elements of the Iranian government directed the alleged plan. A Such a US grim situation. Iranian and U.S. Yeah. passports. And a member of Iran's Revolutionary Guard faced conspiracy charges connected with the plot. In addition to of course, it doesn't matter, but it's always good to have a lot of people, a lot of noise, a lot of music, a lot of drinks. Let's get our drink on. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Okay. So, what are you doing later? Um, I'm going home. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that. I just said, uh, never mind. Hi, I'm Donna Simpson. <laughs> also, in today's breaking news, the top UN human rights official deplored the devastatingly remorseless toll right, of human lives in Syria on Friday. What's everyone drinking? I'm buying. <laughs> That's a first. Come on, man. You know I'm a good guy. I'm just still trying to get used to you always paying in ones. Oh. Okay, ones paid the bills last week, so it still spends. All right, boys, break it up. On that note, uh, I will have a beer. Okay. Kristen, same thing? Oh, no, thank you. I don't drink. You know what, how about just uh, a Coke for both of us? All right, so uh, how the little kitties doing on the playground? You two getting along? Hey, I am a grown man. Is that what you think? <laughs> uh, grown man that can't pick up his pizza box. <laughs> All right, down to business, though. Seriously, there's a huge party going downtown tonight. Yes. We hitting it up? We going? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, cool. Kristen? All right. All right. Automatic DD right here, nice. folks. Done deal. Glad What's happening? Came. We're going. Let's All get right, this guys. Party started. Let's do this. To new beginnings. New, new beginnings. beginnings. New beginnings. Woo! Emperor Aldo de Luca's spokesman, the Supreme Chancellor of Nations, announced today that all citizens, effective immediately, report to their New World Order subdivisions for marking. We can no longer tolerate the rebels of peace any longer, said the Supreme Chancellor. The Supreme Chancellor also said in the press conference 
we are relying upon all citizens of the New World Order Kingdom to help us expose enemies of the state by citizens receiving their marks immediately. The Supreme Chancellor also said, no citizen without a mark shall be able to buy, trade or sell anywhere within the New World Order realm and that all persons without a mark shall be reported to their oh local subdivision authorities right away. I don't also like this. Also in today's news, Christian insurgents raided a supermarket in Istanbul. Could this be the start of tyranny? It's reported that some 20 no, of women course not. not. You have to trust the system. Have faith. You know, the, the government isn't concerned with us. We follow the law. They're only concerned with the ones that don't. Okay? Now, isn't that how it's always been? It still seems like that our freedom's being taken away. I don't like it. Honey, our freedom is not being taken away. They're only doing what's necessary to ensure our safety. That's all. Don't worry. You'll see. Lord De Luca also will be discussing a stimulus plan for economic reform in America. Yeah, I'm almost done studying. Do you want to meet up later? Okay, sure. Um, I'm almost done here too. Maybe be about another 15 minutes? Yeah, about that. Okay, cool. I'll come pick you up. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, this is looking really nice. I think you're going to really like it. I hope. Hey, are you going to go to the big worship service for Lord DeLuca this weekend? I, um... Well, the Supreme Chancellor himself is going to be speaking. Cool. Yeah. I can't wait. I heard so much about his unbelievable powers. Maybe I'll get to see one myself and witness a miracle. One of my friends, she got us their front row seats. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. We heard on the news today that the mark is now mandatory. The government's really cracking down on the resistance. It just makes me so uneasy that your father says not to worry. That's right. Your mother and I are going to go down and get branched. Do you want to come? No. Hey. I'm going to go meet up with Kristen. Dad, I'm not getting the mark. Sweetie, you're going to have to. I mean, come on, these people are serious. You won't even be able to go out and buy food without it. Is that what you want? What no, are you going to do? I don't, Dad, I don't know, but look, I'll, I'll burn that bridge when I get to it, okay? I'm not getting the mark. You don't understand. I'm just afraid that if you don't, some harm may come to you. Harm? Are you gonna, like, turn me in? No. Never mind about this now. Just just go on and enjoy yourself with your friend. I will. Oh, honey, what are we gonna do? Don't worry. She'll come around. And that is totally incredible. As you can see, the vistas of this particular crater, some 96 miles across. Why did they pick that? Crater. The nutrient rich area that's in the Yale crater at the astronomer. Yeah. 
down. You want to go to McCoy's? is mandatory now. It's mandatory? Yeah, but look, Kristen, I'm not gonna take the mark, and neither are you. No, of course not. I'm with you on that one. <sighs> Pastor Johnson warned us about this. Don't remind me. What are we doing here? Apparently, we weren't very good listeners. Or doers, I should say. There's nothing we can do about it now, so let's go have a burger. Go. Next. 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 Your names, please. Frank Holloway. Date of birth and your ID, please. <clears throat> Five eight fifty two. Your name, ma'am. Susan Holloway. And your date of birth and your ID, please. Is there anyone else in your home? Just us. Have a seat over there, please. You'll be called to receive your mark. Next. Hi, welcome to McCoy's Kitchen. Your server will be Cheryl today, and she'll be right with you. Could I start you off with some water while you wait? Um, yeah, that'd be nice. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. Hey, did you hear about that nine-year-old boy who killed his mom and dad yesterday? Uh-uh, I didn't. What happened to him? Did he get arrested? No, I guess his parents were under investigation because his dad mentioned Christ to somebody at work. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Mark, I keep looking over my shoulder like someone's gonna attack me, or like I'm gonna die, or just... something bad is gonna happen. I just, I don't feel safe here anymore, okay? I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay. All right, you girls ready? Um, yeah. 
Yeah, um, I'm gonna do the McCoy's barbecue burger, but can I just get chips, please? Um, I'll do the same. Okay. Well, let me take these out of your way, and I will be right back with your order. Thank you. going with him? Really good. We have a lot of fun together. That's good. How are you and Cedric? I don't know. Ever since Rapture, he just changed. What do you mean? He just shut down. I mean, the next time I talked to him, I found out his mom, his dad, his sister, they were all taken. And now he's really wary about everybody, just like you. He keeps telling me to stay inside and avoid public places. So, what's he doing to survive? I vaguely remember him saying something about him and his friends working to stay below the radar. I don't know. He didn't say much about it. Kristen, where are they? We have to find them. Okay. No, I'm serious. We have to find them now. All right. I'll, I'll try to get a hold of him. I am the head of this facility. Congratulations on your new citizenship. Is everything all right? I mean, is, is there anything I can do for you? No. I guess I'll let you be on your merry way. Oh, but there is one thing. Where's your daughter? You sure you're gonna be okay? Your parents won't have the mark, I don't... No, if you should go home. Yeah, it's not just my parents, it's my little brother too. I don't know. They don't really pay attention to me. I mean, come to think of it, they haven't questioned me about it yet. I'll tell you what, I'll go check it out. If it seems dangerous, I'll give you a call. Okay. Just be careful, okay? Okay. See ya. She couldn't come down with us due to a previous engagement. I can assure you, she will come down as soon as she returns home. But I thought that you said you were alone. I'm sure it was just a mistake. Perhaps you didn't quite understand the question. Hmm? Yes. Yes, sir. Here, take my card. Call me if you need any assistance with your daughter. Her well-being is now our greatest concern. Again, congratulations. Thank you.
Mom? Dad? Hello? Hello? Hey, how are things going over there? It's good. My parents aren't even home tonight. How are you doing? Same here. My parents are out. Steven has baseball. Oh, that's right. Okay, we'll just keep an eye out, okay? Okay. I'll see you later, right? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna... Hey, I'm gonna let you go. I'm getting another call. Okay. Okay, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey, babe, it's me. Hey, baby, where are you? Yeah, I'm just around the corner from you. Um, can you meet me? Yeah, no, 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 I'll come, I'll meet you in a minute. I am under the tree on the field on Franklin. All right. Okay, babe. Bye. No, I think lasagna sounds good. Oh, but that takes so long to make. Well, just buy one of those frozen ones. It just takes an hour. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll cook, you do the dishes. No, I don't think so. You know, right? No, I'm freaking out. Have you heard about the mark being mandatory? Yes, I know. Look, that's it. You're so calm about this. You're not taking the mark, are you? Look, nobody knows better about the mark of the beast than I do. Mark of the what? The mark of the beast. I don't. Look, I'll show you. The man they call Lord DeLuca and his spokesman are actually the beast that come out of the earth with two horns. It's all right here. And now, now we're at that point where the false prophet, who happens to be Lord DeLuca's spokesman, unleashes horrible punishment on everybody that won't bow down and worship the image of the beast or the image of Lord DeLuca. Do you remember um, not long after the rapture when Lord DeLuca was assassinated? Yeah, I remember seeing the news reports. It was. Like right after Iran had that short roll over Europe, right? Right, which Lord DeLuca helped to end. I mean, it was his proposal of peace that led to his assassination. People are blinded by the false miracle of the Lord DeLuca's coming back to life, but what really happened is completely different than most people believe. Satan resurrected Lord DeLuca. Wait, you're telling me that... Yes. Lord DeLuca is actually possessed of Satan himself. Wait, I... I know this. No, I, I, mean, I mean what you're saying. I, I know this. I remember, like, a year ago, before the rapture happened, I was trying to read Revelations, and it just... It didn't make sense to me, but... How do you know so much about this? My, uh... Father and mother... Well, they were Christians. 
They used to tell me about these days when I was growing up, but I just didn't listen. My mom just told me that Lord DeLuca's spokesperson isn't going to let anyone who doesn't have the mark buy food anymore. Well, that's not all. I mean, you can expect that anybody who won't bow down and worship the image of the beast will be killed. What are we going to do? Kristen! What? Oh my god, Kristen! What? No, 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 she has, she, she told me she has friends, that they're living underground and the government isn't tracking them. Yeah, I, I know. You know? What do you mean you know? Uh, don't forget, I'm the one to introduce you to my best friend, Cedric. Pay attention to the words, my and friend. All right, so you know. Of course I do. I'm just really good at keeping secrets. Which, nowadays, is a skill that could probably save some lives. Good morning, I'm Alan Jennings, and now for today's news. The Supreme Chancellor of Nations announced today that due to violent attacks on subdivision headquarters across the country, resulting in the deaths of two New World Order officials and several New World Order peace enforcers, has initiated Operation Safe Streets. This global operation grants New World Order peace enforcers authority to use lethal force to shoot resistance fighters on sight. And I'm Geneva Salvatore. The Supreme Chancellor also stated it's imperative for all remaining citizens that have not yet received the mark immediately do so to avoid severe consequences and unnecessary loss of life. The Supreme Chancellor also said due to the heinous crimes of Christian insurgents, it will be necessary for persons without the mark to distinguish them as friendly, to be counted as offenders, and should be immediately arrested. The Supreme Chancellor also authorized home invasions to be conducted by enforcers on those suspected of harboring insurgents and or worshippers of Christ. We'll be back in a few moments. Hey guys. Second. All right, good job. Oh, thanks boss, we try. So, where are your marks? We were just on our way to get ours. Uh, yes, we were. Okay. Good. Because I'd hate to lose two of my best reporters. Oh! And by the way, don't even bother coming back to work without your marks. My life is miserable enough already. I don't need the NWO breathing down my neck. Demi, you have to get out of there. Come pick me up. Wait. Wait, hold on. Kristen, where are you? I left my house. I'm on the corner where you dropped me off. I was watching the news. You have to get out of there. OK, just try to calm down, OK? I don't want to talk too loud. Where did you say you were? I'm on the street corner where you dropped me off. OK. OK, hurry. Yeah, I'll be there in a second.
Honey, are you going down to get your mark today? No, Dad, I told you I'm not getting the mark. You have to. If you don't, you'll be counted as an offender. Is that what you want? If you get caught, you're going to get arrested or worse yet, killed. Oh, honey, why can't you see what your father is trying to tell you? Mom, why can't you see that that's the mark of Satan? That's nonsense. Nonsense. No, Dad, it's the truth. No, it's not the truth. You have the mark of the devil on your head, Dad, and I don't even want to look at you right now. What are you, some kind of a Bible thumper all of a sudden? I'm trying to protect you. Don't worry about me anymore. What? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just making What is this? It's nothing. Mom, what is this? Did you call on me? You call on me! Don't touch me! You call on me! Got a female, five feet four inches tall, thin build. Last seen wearing a gray top, dark pants, black hat. Okay, unit seven, we got that. Get in, get in now! Which one do you call? I did, sir. What took you so long? Our daughter wasn't willing to get the mark at first, but we thought maybe later she would be willing to change her mind. Is everything okay? Yes, it is. <laughs> my mom called on me. She turned me in, Kristen, and they came out of my house. I just barely got out. Oh my God, we have to get out of here. Penny, Jason, why? And him and him and Cedric, they're, they're they're part of the resistance. He's a part of it too. There are others. Where is he? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I have to call him. I call him. Okay. okay just give me a second. Okay. Hello. Hey, baby. Baby, I need you. My mom, she turned me in. Okay. Look, I know you're upset, but I need you to try to calm down. Pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. First, where are you? I don't know. I'm 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 on like 113th and something. Okay, well, slow down because you're gonna draw attention to yourself. Okay. Then I need you to head north on the interstate towards the forest. I've got to grab a few things, then I'm heading up there, and I'll text you when I get there. Keep a low profile. Don't break any laws, and do not stop for anybody. Okay. Right. Okay, baby. What did he say? He wants us to keep going north. Um, we're, we're, we're heading to the forest. He's going to their next location. I'll never see my family again. I'm your family now. We're gonna get through this. I, I, we're gonna survive. We just need to stick together, okay? reporting live from the NWO subdivision. As you can see behind me, there's a group of very excited people gathered here today, hoping to get a glimpse of the Supreme Chancellor who is scheduled to arrive. Wait a minute, looks like he's arriving right now. right now. And the 
crowd is going nuts. This is absolutely amazing. The crowd is loving him. Rise, my friend. Supreme Chancellor, it is an honor to have you with us. proceed according to plan, Supreme Chancellor. Many more have taken the mark of our leader, Lord DeLuca. You have done well. But yet I sense a conflict within you. We are tracking two females, which we believe to have connections with the underground resistance. And what do you know about them? I'm afraid... little. But I have managed to track one of them, named Demi, to her parents, the Holloways. I conducted an extensive background investigation on them both and have found no connection to the Resistance or history of insurrection. However, her father tried to hide her from us when he and his wife came for the mark. I trust that you did handle the situation accordingly. Yes. They both have been retired. So must all who bear not the mark be. And as far as that other female's family, they must suffer the same fate. Yes, my lord, it shall be done. As far as the resistance, I empower you to no ends find their leaders and destroy them. It shall be done, my lord. Now go.
It's okay. Come here. Come in. Let me introduce you guys to two very important friends of ours, Alan Jennings and Geneva Salatoli. I guess that's what you meant when you said I would know them. This is Mark. That's Jennifer. Hi. Nice to meet you. And that's Max. Hi. Welcome. I know you guys have a lot of questions, so please just sit. I'm glad you're all here, but we're still not safe. Even as I talk, we're still being tracked. I'm sorry, I cannot guarantee that any of us, and including myself, will survive. And according to this, it's most certain that we're all going to die. But we are not dead yet. As long as we are breathing, we will continue to fight. Ever since the inception of the Tribulation Era, which we are now living in, I've been studying the ways of our enemy. Our nemesis' primary weapon is the internet. It's through the internet that they are able to obtain sensitive intel on everybody. And trust me, they know everything they need to know about each of us, and whatever they don't know, they find out. Sounds like we're already dead in the water then. No, we're not. It actually gives us the advantage we need. And if they can use the internet against us, then we can use it against them. Precisely. With the help of God, I've been able to decode encrypted algorithms full of intel on their political and military agenda. What have you been able to find out? I did some snooping around at the station trying to gather as much as I could. I came across a lot of info, but it was hard to decipher. I do know that they are planning something big that's supposed to go down to some place called the Valley of Megiddo. Same thing here. My contacts told me about some CIA ops being conducted with US, Russia, and China in the Mediterranean. The New World Order regime is planning some sort of a summit with US, Russia, and China, and some sort of an alliance. It's a military op of some kind, definitely. How far have you come with the fake mark? Well, I've been able to duplicate the mark itself but I've been having problems with authenticating them. <sighs> I'm working on it. Good. Because the success of our next move is going to rely heavily on you and Mark. I'm following some leads of my own. I'm casing out our next target and their security. Well, it's tight, but they have weaknesses. Now Jen can hack the security system, and I'll take care of the guards. So, what is it you're planning to do? Whatever we have to, to survive. That's all for now. Everyone just make yourselves at home and relax a little. You got first watch. My lord, the Turkish king sent word he's looking forward to your arrival tomorrow. What's the situation there? Some Christian cells were found operating in the region. But according to our intelligence reports, they've all been infiltrated. And the perpetrators publicly executed. Now, 
the Turkish king seeks to join the New World Order. Assemble your team. We'll leave shortly. you say that? We left our families. We left our friends. We, we don't even know if they're okay or if they're alive. And, and I don't even know if we're gonna live. I was just trying to protect you. I'm so sorry. We're gonna be okay. Jason since we're in the service together. I trust him with my life. We're all going to get through this together. You guys okay? Yeah, we're okay. Good. I'm gonna go down the road a couple of miles and just scout the area. You want me to come with you? No. I need you to stay here. I just feel a whole lot more comfortable. Okay. Hey. Be careful. everything look? So far, so good. Good. Roger that. Let's move.
We gotta go. No, Come on. No. We can't go back there. We gotta go back there. The car's back there. We can't stay here. We're sitting ducks if we do. We're dead for sure. So come on. Just stay close to me. Come on. It'll be alright. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Chris, come on. we have to go. Now. Back to They're dead. They're all dead. Somebody just came in and started shooting up the place. Who? I don't know. That military guy. <sighs> Jason must have given him our position. What? <laughs> what? He's one of us. No. No, we thought he was. <sighs> all along, he was company. I saw the mark on his hand. We all did. We gotta get out of here because they could be right behind you. Move over. Move! Where's your leader? I said, where is your leader?
Let's get out of here. We gotta keep going. I think we all need to rest for a minute. Let them rest. I'm gonna recon above and see if we're clear. All right. You be careful, man. All Yeah, I went up about 150 yards. I think we can make it to the car. Here's the plan. Get, Get down! Get down! Don't run. It's over. Unit 7 to dispatch. Go ahead, 7. Yeah, we got four prisoners. Send the wagon. We'll meet him at the highway. Roger that unit seven transports on the way. I'm just so scared. I know. I know I'm scared too. Mark Howard. happened to us. Christine, I'm so sorry. I feel like us being here is all my fault. How? I knew. It's not your fault. No, uh, it is. I am. Not lead a good example for you to follow. But we're here now, okay? And no matter what we face back there, we cannot take that mark. We can't. Demi Holloway.
gave me the strength to face death. Forgive my sins, oh God. Stand with me. Please stand with me. Kristen Brooks. Do you think this is noble? We've all made our sacrifices. This is your final chance. Take the mark.
Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Whither I go, you know, and the way. The Messiah is coming back. Savior, are you ready to enter in eternity?